Sasha Shiani. I think he's been fantastic so far. Uh, I was debating between the two internationals. I think Gidis, I, I I'm more pleased with what I'm seeing out of Sasha because of what we saw from him in the preseason. I think Gidis, he was more experienced. He'd played at a high level before. I'm not exactly surprised by what we're getting out of Gidis. I think I. It's weird to say I'm not surprised, but also to come over here to a new country and to get into the system and to be playing at that level right away. And, you know, he's not a prolific shooter, but he's a he's a good shooter, but he's also experienced. So as far as things I'm most encouraged by, I'm going to go back to the well on the freshman. I'm going to say Sasha because you saw him in that Purdue game. Look, he didn't back down from Zach Eady. He played well. He didn't score a ton, but just – you know, defensively, what he was able to do there, it kind of moves well. He's shifty underneath the basket, get the ball down to him around the basket. He's he's shifty and kind of move his feet and get around, even though he's a bigger guy. He, he doesn't move all that well, but it seems like he just knows how to move and when he needs to move. Shifty. So, shifty. Yeah. I, that, that is a term I will remember being used about Sasha Shiani is that he's shifty. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going with. Uh yeah, I, I, I think that um, to see where he is now, and I thought you made a great point uh, last night in your post about it on Twitter where you were saying, like, a couple months ago, you and I looked at each other at, at one practice. I, it might have been his first practice or first full-team workout, whatever it was, and you and I looked at each other and thought, when is he going to be able to even see the court? And now here we are against a consensus top three team in the country and he's out there giving you pretty high quality minutes when you need it because Abu Usman was in foul trouble. Paul, I cannot believe how much he has improved since his first practice. I mean, th this is a guy like physically he moves completely different from how he moved a month ago. And I'm he's not shifty. saying like, yeah, he's shifty. That's right. <laughs> I, I'm not saying that's uh, because of like some crazy gains he's made in the weight room or anything. Um, although maybe that's helped some. I think it's way more about just the fact that he's gaining confidence and knowing where he's supposed to be running to and knowing where he's supposed to be. I'll tell you what, he shows up to work every day. Like uh, I think Sean said about him on a, a show that he's very serious and that it's definitely the case in practice. Like he's not cracking smiles. He's not laughing about a lot of stuff. He's there to put his work in at practice and, and do a good job. And, and he wants to do well and wants to be a really good player. So I think that's why you've seen him improve so much in such a short amount of time um there's a long way to go still i don't think if you're relying on sasha shani for 20 minutes against donovan Klingon or uh, ryan kolkbrenner that's going to be a recipe for success in the big east season even though he had some good spurts there against zach Eady. but overall i would agree with you like I, I really cannot believe how much better he has gotten in just two months of action actually a little bit less than two months